This videotape will show you a proper method to grind a right-hand roughing tool using the pedestal grinder. Pay close attention to the name and location of each angle that we grind and to the way the tool is held while being ground. This is what your completed right-hand roughing tool will look like. A right-hand roughing tool is a high-speed tool bit. It is used to remove large amounts of material from a workpiece in a short amount of time. You will be grinding this tool for use on medium carbon steel. It's important that you learn how to grind this tool because you will grind all of your high-speed tool bits when you begin work in a machine shop. Before we begin, let's review the safety procedures for the pedestal grinder. You must wear safety glasses. Remove any watches, rings, or other jewelry. Roll your sleeves up to the elbows. Your clothing should fit tightly enough to prevent it from catching in the machine. Adjust the work rest to within one eighth inch of the roughing wheel. And adjust the spark guard to within one eighth inch of the roughing wheel. Also, Pull the eye shield down into this position. Remember to repeat all of these safety steps for the finishing wheel. Next, check the roughing wheel's surface to make sure that it is flat. This wheel is slightly convex, so it will need to be trued or dressed. Stand to one side of the grinder as you turn the grinder on. Hold the wheel dresser against the wheel like this. Now shut the grinder off and check the edge for flatness. When the wheel is flat, you are ready to begin grinding. Begin the tool bit grinding procedure by grinding the side cutting edge angle and the side relief angle. You will grind the side cutting edge angle and the side relief angle at the same time. Each of these angles are ground at 10 degrees for medium carbon steel. So, set the protractor at 10 degrees. Holding the tool bit blank in exactly this position will give you a side cutting edge angle of 10 degrees. Rotate the tool bit back slightly. So the bottom corner is closest to the wheel. Turn the grinder on. Holding the tool bit exactly like this will give you a 10 degree side cutting edge angle and a 10 degree side relief angle. Begin grinding. Dip your work in the water to cool it. The side cutting edge angle, which you have just ground, directs the chip flow away from the workpiece. It also affects the thickness of the cut. Remember, the side cutting edge angle for medium carbon steel is 10 degrees. Use the protractor and scale to check the accuracy of your side cutting edge angle. You can see that this side cutting edge angle is very close to 10 degrees. This is the side relief angle. It allows the tool to feed into the work material. The side relief angle for medium carbon steel is 10 degrees. Use the protractor and scale to check the side relief angle. You can see it's very close to 10 degrees. If either or both of these angles were off, regrind them using exactly the same procedure until both angles are at 10 degrees. Next, grind the end relief angle and the end cutting edge angle. These angles are also ground at the same time. The end cutting edge angle is 22 and a half degrees. The end relief angle for medium carbon steel is eight degrees. When this tool bit is used in an engine lathe, 
It will be held in a 14 and a half degree tool holder at about this angle. The bit will need to be ground at 22 and a half degrees to give you an end relief angle of eight degrees. Set the protractor at 22 and a half degrees. Set the protractor aside. Hold the tool bit exactly like this. Rotate the tool bit back slightly. You can see that the bottom corner is closest to the wheel. Begin grinding. Holding the tool bit exactly like this will enable you to grind both angles at 22 and a half degrees. This is the end relief angle. The end relief angle prevents the front edge of the tool from rubbing on the work. Remember, the end relief angle for cutting medium carbon steel is eight degrees. Since the tool holder will hold the bit at 14 and a half degrees, you need to grind 22 and a half degrees on the end of the tool bit. Eight degrees plus 14 and a half degrees equals 22 and a half degrees. Check your end relief angle with a protractor and scale. This angle is close enough to 22 and a half degrees. This is the end cutting edge angle. The end cutting edge angle allows the tool bit to progress through the workpiece without rubbing on the workpiece. As you recall, the end cutting edge angle for cutting medium carbon steel is 22 and a half degrees. Check your end cutting edge angle with a protractor and scale. Next, grind the radius. The radius is ground on this edge of the tool bit. Hold the tool bit exactly like this. Begin grinding. Touch the bit to the wheel. Roll your tool bit to the side. Repeat until the radius is smooth all the way down this edge. A properly ground radius should look like this when it is completed. The radius allows heat to be dissipated into the tool and prevents the tip from breaking away. Back rake and side rake are ground next. Back rake and side rake are also ground at the same time. The back rake for cutting medium carbon steel is 14 and a half degrees. As you recall, when this tool bit is used in an engine lathe, it will be held at 14 and a half degrees by the tool holder like this. Holding the tool in this position gives it an automatic back rake of 14 and a half degrees. So for cutting medium carbon steel, you will not need to grind a back rake. Side rake is the angle that slopes downward as the pencil indicates. The side rake angle for cutting medium carbon steel is six degrees. Set the protractor at six degrees. Hold the tool bit exactly like this. Notice the bottom edge is touching the grinder. Begin grinding the side rake. Blend the side rake as you grind by moving the tool bit like this on the roughing wheel. Notice how the side rake has been blended or feathered. Side rake directs the chip flow away from the point of cut and provides for a keen cutting edge. Now use the protractor and scale to check your side rake angle. This angle is very close to six degrees. Okay, complete your right hand roughing tool by grinding the chip breaker. Grind the chip breaker on top of the tool bit in this position. For this procedure, Use the finishing wheel. Place the bit against the finishing wheel exactly like this. 
use the corner of the finishing wheel to cut in a small groove. The completed chip raker looks like this. The chip raker curls the chip back into the work and breaks the chip, preventing it from flying out. Your right-hand roughing tool for cutting medium carbon steel is now completed.